I'm Dr. Howie Dewitt, and if I'd been stranded on that island with those seven castaways, Gilligan and the gang would have gotten off the island a lot sooner. Because what my little buddy failed to realize is that they were stranded in a rainforest. I said rainforest. That's better. Anyway, if Gilligan had known he was in a rainforest, we're done with this one, guys. If Gilligan had known he was in a rainforest, he could have gotten off the island a lot sooner because there are all the products in the rainforest were there and he could have used those to get off the island. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> hey, Marianne, could you help me? Sure, Gilligan. What do you need? Could you make me a pie using all these ingredients found in the tropical rainforest? Like cloves and nutmeg and cinnamon and vanilla and ginger? Yes, Gilligan? And cocoa? And coconut? Why, sure I could, Gilligan. Here you go. Thanks, Marianne. <laughs> hey, Ginger, could you shower with these sandalwood soaps and then soak in this coconut bath oil and then freshen up with this rosewood perfume, all made with products from the rainforest? Sure, Gilligan. Anything for you. Thanks, Ginger. Now Marianne takes her pie, and Ginger takes her sweet-smelling self over to the professor. Hi, professor. I made you this pie. And I freshened up with tropical oils and perfumes just for you. Thanks, girls. I never knew you liked me so much. What can I do for you? Just make us some rubber balloons, rubber chickens, some printing ink, and chewing gum from all the rubber copal and chickle trees in our rainforest. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here you go, girls. Balloons, rubber chicken, chewing gum, and printing ink, all made with products from the rainforest. Pretty smart, huh? <coughs> and now, all we have to do is get Mr. Howell to sit in this cane and wicker chair, also from the rainforest. And then, we attach a lot of these rubber balloons to the chair and get the skipper to fill them up, since we all know he's full of hot air. Then, the chair and the balloons are gonna be carried high aloft above the canopy of the rainforest. Then, Mr. Howell can throw these rubber chickens. We made the ink with Kapow, a rainforest resin. Someone will surely find these chickens and then I know we'll be rescued. But Mr. Howell is going to have to stay up above the rainforest canopy the whole time, and that's going to make Mrs. Howell really upset. But luckily for her, I've prepared this tropical fruit basket filled with goodies from the rainforest, like pineapples and plantains and chewing gum and tea and coffee, all from the rainforest. And that's going to keep her mouth busy for a long time, and then she won't be worried about Mr. Howell. And then he can stay up there, and we'll all surely be rescued. <laughs> if only Gilligan had known he was living in a rainforest. Gilligan, that chair's for Mr. Howell! Oh, well. The rainforest is an interesting tropic, but it's time for me to leaf. So I guess I better say, good pie. I'm Dr. Howie Do It, and that's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs>